In this video, we're going to be talking all about course management because there are so many scenarios throughout the 18 holes where we get decisions wrong. And I actually don't think we could ever eradicate that because even if we try and make the right decision at that time, hindsight will always prevail. But what we can do is learn from mistakes. We can get smarter and we can become much, much better players that way. Less chip shots in and around the green, less three puts, maybe less three off the tees, for example. In today's scenario, we have got an absolute, oh, this is a hard one. Now, there's a huge hazard right in front of the green. I'm 125 yards away from the green, okay? Which is absolutely perfect for this club here. It's my 50 degree, 125 yards. However, that hazard ends at 110. So if I slide, and again, with you, when you're using sort of Vokey style wedges, which the majority of you do, any sort of mishit from the center of the face, we lose the control. A lot of your wedges in your bag are like basically like going from your normal irons to a blade. That's basically the transition, that's the difference really, going from a normal iron to a blade. So you could have some lovely cavity back irons but then you could have gone and got yourself the brand new SM10 Vokey and suddenly you miss hit that scent by a, an iota of a centimeter. And now your 125 shot or whatever it is for your set from yourself drops down to 110. And in this instance, drops into the hazard. So decision making, we've just established that the hazard ends at 110. There's a bunker behind the green which is 135, okay? Now then, I know that this lands slap bang in the middle, okay? What's the wind saying? This is the one thing we all overlook a little bit, and again, I'm definitely guilty of this. A couple of blades, chuck it up in the air. So the wind is coming from there, it's coming from the sea. Oh, guys, behind you, the sea, it's beautiful. That's the flag. So the wind is coming from 45 degrees off my right side. So it's off the right, slightly into. So now if I aim at the target, I'm gonna miss right. So I've got to aim slight, sorry, I miss left. So I've got to aim slightly right for the right to left start style of the wind. But don't forget, I'm now turning more into the wind as I do so. So again, obviously you, decisions don't normally take this long, but I want you to start to be able to get into a routine of thinking about it. So I know that with zero wind, this club cannot reach the bunker, okay? With a miss hit though, I might go in the hazard. If I go up to a pitching wedge, which is what I'm about to do, the landscape has now changed a little bit, okay? I've got a pitching wedge, which is my cavity back pitching wedge. So it's not a, it's not a blade, well, it's kind of, not, not fully a bladed club. So I've got that little bit of extra forgiveness. I've taken the hazard out of the equation. What I have brought into the equation though is the back bunker at 135, which is exactly the distance this goes. But I've got an into wind off the right, okay? So I'm actually gonna try and play a slightly shortened version of my full shot, a slightly shortened version. I don't want you to decelerate too much. I want you to feel like the golf swing in your mind is the slightest bit shorter, but you're giving it full power, okay? Now I can't reach that back bunker. Where that flag is cut on the green though, is left. If I miss that green flag by 10 yards left, it runs down into like a, a, a roll off area. Down there in that roll off area, is going to be tight grass, which is horrible for chipping. So you might now want to put, but from your putter, you've got to go six foot up at least, and then try and get the pace right. So as soon as you miss the green, you can almost bank on a bogey. You may even make double, but you're making bogey. Go 10 yards right of the flag, or 10 foot ideally, you're in the middle of the green. And even if you go 20 to the right of the flag, you're still on the green. You're a long way away, you're possibly in three put territory, but it's a little bit easier, okay? So what I want you to do, I want you to club up, okay? We've got the club, we've clubbed up. I'm not aiming at the flag, I'm not looking at it. I'm looking at the right edge of the bunker, which I can reach if I hit this full and the wind stops. It happens, doesn't it, to be fair? So I'm gonna take a 10% off it. I'm gonna feel like I'm just not swinging my full distance, but I'm gonna get my full power. 
The wind's moving it round from right to left. I've actually pulled it a tiny bit. I've not, I've hit, so I've took a little bit too much off it, but I'm on the green. Now I feel the good thing about that shot, we always look at things in hindsight. In hindsight, what could I have done differently? I could have only have hit it harder. That's it, I just hit it harder. But I'm, on the, but I'm still driving my buggy up that left side, knowing that I've got an uphill put, two put for par. Okay, so my only hindsight regret is not hitting it harder. That's a down sight, nicer regret to have than not clubbing up or not allowing enough for the wind or not missing it to that left side. So again, we'll go again. I'm gonna do the same again. I'm not, I'm not even gonna try and change that. If I hit the ball harder and the wind drops, I'm in the bunker. That for me, if I did that every single time from this scenario, I'm never dropping a shot. Again, too many amateur golfers chase the chase birdies. I wanna chase birdies but you've got to pick your battles, okay? So we've got, we've got a yardage short, well, from the back of the hazard, from, the, from basically the bunker hazard over the back of the green. We've found a 30 yard gap that we can hit a small, tiny golf ball into, and we've got a golf club that does it with the perfect yardage. That 50 degree, full power, clears the hazard no issue and doesn't go in the hazard at the back no issue it's the perfect yardage the wind is the curveball i've i've gone up a club i'm not going to hit it full whack because if the wind just drops which happens doesn't it i could be in the bunker i'm hitting it what feels like to me as soon as my shoulder gets to my chin i feel like I've fin i'm going to finish my golf swing from there i'm still driving through at full power Instead of the golf swing going to there, which is my 135, I'm just allowed, as soon as that shoulder hits my chin, I'm coming back. I've pulled that. So that's a bad golf shot, simple as that. However, well it's actually worked out not too bad, is because I've not hit it still quite far enough, it's not taken that runoff. I'm probably level with the first ball, but just a touch left of it, okay? So again, because it's a short grass, I've got no silly undulations to go at. On this scenario, I could still put it. But again, the distance is good. I'm not trying to add more distance to it. If I hit this at full whack and the wind drops, I've got a bunker shot. So I'm aiming right of the flag into that middle bunker on the right. I think I might have got that right. I actually may have hit that a little bit harder. And that, that's actually like the perfect outcome. Okay. So as you can see from all three balls there, two are definitely pars. One's a bit tricky. One was just a bad golf swing. I mean, you can't legislate for that. It's just a bad golf swing. There's no hindsight in that. Oh, I wish I'd have struck it, swung it perfectly. Well, yeah, obviously we could do that in every golf shot. So you've got to make the right decisions. You need a you need a range finder or some sort of watch or some sort of GPS that gives you the opportunity to make the perfect decisions. Look at front, middle and back, dissect the hole, pick your club, look at the conditions, make your decision, own it, stick to it and pull it off. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've enjoyed the video, please do share it with your friends and I will see you next time.